Here we are in the studio. Let's get ready to paint. Okay, I've added new colors to my palette. I only had a few on here to do the background. I, this is my normal everyday palette. Um, Cad, no, this is Hansa Yellow. Uh, Cad Orange Medium, Cad Red Light, uh, Hooker's Green, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Blue, Dioxazin Purple, Ultramarine, no, Deep, um, <laughs> Turquoise Deep, uh, Lime Green, and Alizarin Crimson, and some white over there. Okay, so we have put a background on, and today we are going to paint uh, a tree on here. Um, similar to the one I did in a uh, tutorial a few weeks, uh, last week I believe. Um, I'll link to that, but it was all done with brushes and this is all done with palette knives. You'll be amazed at the difference, but it's a lot similar too. So let's get going here. Okay, I've got five palette knives over here, but I'm probably only going to use this one. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> there, it's small. Um, it's um, kind of diamond shape. Um, I, I just, I like it. I use it more than anything else. Okay, so we're going to put a tree trunk in here. So let's get some dark. And this is all pretty dry. So I'm going to add some more purple to that. I want this kind of dark. And I'm going to add just a little bit of the burnt sienna to it to warm it up just a bit. Okay, so again, I push it off the front. Oh, it picked up a bunch of blue. Not a problem. <laughs> now I'm going to pick it up on the back. Now, I don't want my tree in the center, okay? It needs to be off center, just like me. <laughs> so I'm going to start a little bit beyond the center and go up. Again, I'm just picking up paint on the back. Now, see what happened here? These are beautiful roots. This over here is a little too clunky. So we're gonna make that part of the tree. And we're gonna bring some more of this over here. There. Okay, I'm just picking up more paint. I'm not mixing anything here. I'm just picking it up. Gonna go up. Turn your knife any way you have to turn it. Do what you have to do. That's how playing in the paint really helps you understand how this works. I'm really loving what I'm seeing here. Now you can use a brush and a knife. There's no knife police coming to your door saying, oh, no, 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 Sharon, you cannot do that. No. <laughs> anyway, I can get it on there. <laughs> it's all fair. I want to go up a little higher on this. I've run out of paint just about. I'm adding some more of the burnt umber. I'm going to add some more blue to that. And a little bit more of the burnt sienna to warm it up just a tad. Okay, I'm wiping it off and picking it up. So here comes this branch here. Now again, with a brush, you pressure is everything pressure is a lot with this as well not everything but a lot see how wide it is right there i don't like that so i'm going to widen it down into here that looks pretty good i'm going to bring this one up This one needs to go all the way over 
to the edge. I'm picking it up on the side and I'm going to bring it in that way. Okay, so we have a pretty good tree in just a very few minutes. So I'm going to, I'm working on now the side of the knife. Picking it up on that side. Again, this is, there is a huge learning curve here because if you've been painting with brushes, this is going to feel very weird, but it's okay. You're going to get it. You're going to play with it. And you have to remember, there's going to be a lot of leaves on here, so it's not, a lot of it's not going to show. <laughs> Again, running out of paint. As it goes out, I want it to get a little lighter, so I'm adding just the burnt sienna there, and now I'm going to add just a touch of orange. It's going to warm it up even more. It's going to give us a little variation. I'm picking it up on the edge of that knife and there has to be a little bit of an angle. There's a snowplow going by. <laughs> if you put it straight on there you won't get much paint so you need to angle that knife out a little bit. I hope that you can see the difference in the color. I'm not sure that you can. But I can. You'll get a close-up view of it. Afterwards. Don't get frustrated at this point. This is this is not simple stuff here. But it is fun. Okay? So I'm kind of liking where we're going here. I'm gonna put a few limbs here like that started to come off but didn't actually come off. <laughs> and I'm gonna do one over here on this side. Like it, it's trying to grow something here, but it can't quite decide what it's going to do. Okay. I'm going to bring another one this way. And remember, you're going to have a bunch of leaves. It's going to cover up a lot of mistakes. <laughs> They're not mistakes. You know what Bob Ross says. They're happy accidents. <laughs> so I want you to play around in this. Play in the, this is your real opportunity to play in the paint. You know, I had a, um, one of the artists that I follow, Dan Scott, um, s sent out an email and he was talking about, um, painting for your eyes only and he said that he paints paintings that he no one is ever going to see and they're for his learning his education his improvement and so we should all probably be doing that 
a painting for our eyes only. And so as you learn to use a palette knife, that might be one of those things in the very beginning where you're going, yep, nope, this is no good. <laughs> it's okay. You're learning every step of the way. And as long as you're making, doing something with it, the next one's gonna be better. Uh, I've got one over there on my printer right now that I did yesterday, my eyes only. Nobody's ever seeing that, but I learned a ton doing it. So, you know, <laughs> you need to go with that. Okay, so we are gonna dry this out with a hair dryer and come back and we'll start um, putting some leaves on. And let me just show you one thing here. I've still got this green paint here on my palette. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna wipe off my knife, but I'm not really wiping it off with a paper towel. I happen to like all the variations of the paint that you see in there. So I could come in here you can lay paint on <laughs> and it doesn't blend like it does with a brush. So in this, where you're putting these leaves on, you need to really turn that knife in a lot of different directions. Pressure is very important. You don't want to stay in one spot too much. See how I can lay that right on there? That dark green background or leaves that I'm, this first bunch that I'm putting on here, the fact that there's some brown in it kind of brings it together. Puts the two things together. I'm adding a little blue with some green. just barely tapping. Now when I did this with a brush, I mostly tapped them on there too. And as you run out of paint, it makes this really interesting edge part there where it just barely has some leaves. I love that. <laughs> I want leaves to go all the way out here into the edge, but they could be very, very light because I, I don't have a lot of paint on the back of my palette knife. Here in the middle where there would be lots and lots of leaves, you want heavier paint out there on the edges where the leaves get lighter and lighter. You want less and less paint on your brush, on your palette knife. Okay, now I'm going to add some of the um, lime green. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this green over here, but a little bit. I'm, I want this to start to get lighter. You need several values. You know what I say, a minimum of three values for anything. So now we're gonna to start to come in here with some light, and you can put that right on top of that, the dark, paint that you have already you're gonna really be able to feel the texture in this kind of a painting so if you feel like your painting is too um, flat you really need to try um, a palette knife I'm just picking up more paint here on the back of my knife. It 
See those two lines right next to each other? You don't want that, so we're going to have to fix something in there. I, I smushed that one down. <laughs> Is that technical term again? I use it a lot. Uh, more green. Now let's add some yellow to that green. I'm not going to mix it up completely. Again, I'm, it's on the back of my knife. I'm going to come in here. My light is going to come from this side. So this side's going to have more light than that side over there. Just touching, tapping. Pulling it off, picking it back up. I want some here, like it's glowing through these leaves. Wiping it off, picking it back up. Wiping that off, picking it back up. So as you get better at this, and you will get better with practice, you will see how um, how it works and how you what you need to do. Okay, this side here is a little light. Even though the light's coming from this side, uh, I still think this side needs a little bit. So I'm, I cleaned off my knife a little bit. I'm going to pick up some of this lighter color and just tap it in very carefully. And now it's almost off my knife. So I want to come over here and put some of that Wipe that off, picking up just a tiny bit. I don't even know if you can see the little bit. that There it is, you can see that. Okay, I just want to tap some more out this way. Now as I look, I'm going to wipe again. Now if you tap too much on the edge. You'll get, you don't want this big long line in a tree like this, especially with this top color. You want just little touch it. See? Too much. You can pull it off. I can also come back in here with some dark and go right over top of that. There we go. Okay, now I'm wiping off my knife. You can peel it off with your fingernails, but you don't want to get to that point really. You want to um, you want to get that off. You can kind of hear it. Okay, so I'm going to pick up. I've got this tree mix here. I'm going to add a little orange to that. Okay, my light's coming from this side, so this side of my tree needs some light to it. Down here on the root. I mean, you can really feel the texture of this tree. So right in here, there's going to be a little more where the light's coming through. 
the more you paint, the more you'll understand where the light would naturally show up. Up here in this part of the branch, it's going to be in there. It's going to be over here because the lights come in there. You can just lay this paint right on top of the paint that's already there. You can't do this with a brush. <laughs> it just will never work. I'm adding a little bit more orange. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that also. I think I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Get a little sunshine going on in there. Okay. And I'm going to come out here on the edge of this would be right in here. Okay. There's another place it's going to show right there. Now what I want to do is I want to add some white out here on the edge and I'm going to add some more yellow. I'm mixing that up but I'm not mixing it completely. You can see that there's a, a lot going on in there, okay? I want to come back on this side of my trunk and put some more light on that tree. I'm going to wipe it off, pick up that same color again on the back of the knife, I'm just kind of skipping down that edge. I'm going to put some right in here. This will help give that branch a little bit of a difference where they come together. Okay? So you can look throughout your tree and see, okay, where's where does it need a little highlight? And you're just touching. You're not doing too much. Okay, well there we have our tree. Now, I, um, your assignment, should you decide to accept it, <laughs> is, is to do your background and then get out your knife and play in it. See what you can do. And do not be discouraged if it doesn't look exactly like this. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not the world's greatest palette knife painter, but I do work at it, and I get better with every one that I do. Now, this is going to have so much texture. Um, art collectors, art buyers, people who visit galleries, they love to see all this texture in there. <laughs> they love to see that, oh my gosh, look at it, a hand actually did that. Now, my other paintings with a brush are much smoother because I build them up in layers, and so there's not as much texture to it. This is loaded with texture. Uh, and yet, we'll see, we'll look at it. Um, I'll bring on the other one that I did. It's an 8x10. And we'll do kind of a side-by-side -side and see how they look together. So, let's do that. Okay, this is the one we did in the tutorial um, a week or so ago. This was with a brush. This is with a palette knife. Now, I didn't put all this grass and all that in there, um, but, but you certainly can do that. And that's one thing I would recommend, is that you play in it and figure out what you can do. But at any rate, you can see that they're very similar. Um, they do both come over here to the edge. They do both take up the entire um, canvas. There is highlights on it. Um, there is la layers of colors of leaves, layers of colors of leaves, but the texture in this one, the vibrancy of this one, the small one, is just amazing to me. And I think you will, um, if you are a beginning painter and you've only painted with a brush, you need to give a palette knife a try, if for no other reason than to loose, help loosen you up. Because that's one of the problems with beginning painters is they are 
they paint too tight. And this will help loosen you up, not only with a palette knife, because you can't help but paint loose with a palette knife, but it'll also help you with your brushwork as well. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. And I surely would appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. Click that little notification bell so you'll be aware of every new video that I make. So thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Let's paint together real soon.